hair and makeup expert Natasha Jameson joins us now to show you a way to dramatically change your look without committing to a haircut. Welcome back to Daytime. Thank you, thank you for having us. So you're going to help us create a faux bob. Yes. And the reason it's called faux is because it's- Fake bob. And we don't We're not to... cutting it. Good. We're not, <laughs> we did not prepare Surprise. for that today. <laughs> That's right, fake bob. It's really, really popular right now. Uh, very recently, Taylor Swift, drastic change in her hair and color she's platinum and very you know bob so this is something for people to experiment with have fun and if you're wondering if it's going to look good on you or not this is the style for you so this is nicole and we're going to get started so what i did was her hair is very very straight so we just curled it with a large barreled iron and i hairsprayed it just to keep a little bit but it's very soft mm -hmm. it's not very you know firm yeah. so what i did was and i'll just show the camera i sectioned her hair from about ear to ear, right across that bone, the parietal ridge, into two little free hanging braids. And then I just pin them flat. This is the area that we're gonna pin the rest of the hair to. So that's just like a little you know, tip that the, the more pins you have there and the bigger the braid, it's gonna be the best. So we're just going to comb out all of the little waves. And we want to just give it a very, very kind of wavy look because straight hair is not forgiving you know, you'll be able to see how we're trying to manipulate it. You have such a beautiful shine to your yeah. hair. <laughs> she is a great stylist. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna continue here and comb it all out. Okay, once you're happy, give it a shot. Because you always say you're not happy unless there's a cloud of hairspray that, in the air. It's true, it's very true. <laughs> there we go, see, I'm using all of my usual material, see that? There we go. So we're just going to start. I actually start to, from, the, from the center. And all we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of hair and I'm going to back comb the ends up. What I'm trying to do is create a bevel edge that usually hair has when you have kind of like a, a bob. Okay. I've never seen them back combing just the ends. I've seen just them back the combing ends. near the root, but this is unusual. Yes, because we're going to twist this. We're going to twist and actually roll into that section that we just showed you. If it's you easier see? for me to pass you the pins, yes, I'll do thank that you. And we're just going to make sure that we're connecting with something and we're going to, I'm still holding it in place to make sure that all the hair is in the same spot. And as you can see, it's already starting to take shape. If we need a few more pins, you just add a few more and we're just going to connect to that braid again. We're just going to move her aside this way. It works very, very quickly. So if you need to go somewhere really quick, and fast and you just want to change or you want to even see um, if this will be something for you. Actually, the girl that I uh, worked on for the YouTube, because you can reference this again on YouTube with us, on Natasha Jameson, we, she said, oh, I think I really want to have my hair cut because like I just really love, I, didn't, I couldn't envision it. So this is a great way for people to envision you know what it's like to have a bob right. without you know and if you don't like it I mean we'll shake this out for you know Nicole it's not really a big deal and just make sure that everything is kind of seamless and pretty you see right away you're getting that big bulk that's what um, bobs are kind of known for and then we're gonna do the same thing so we're just taking smaller sections now if around your face it's a little bit shorter that's okay. You're going to create the illusion of a longer A-line bob. You know where the pieces yes, are a little bit longer? Sure. Um, it doesn't really matter. Rachel McAdams does it all the time. And don't we love Rachel McAdams, Nicole? <laughs> we love Rachel McAdams. <laughs> so there we go. It's one of her favorites. Yes. So there we go. We're just going to roll and pin. And I'm just keeping in mind where the braid is in proximity to all of my pins. So we're just going to do that. We need a bit more because one little piece is being stubborn and just back and forth until you get it all up. Okay, we're gonna turn you this way. And again, I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. And back comb the ends. We're creating rough texture so that the pins can actually uh, stabilize and pin into something with the braid. It really does look like you had yeah. a haircut. Doesn't it? I'm surprised. This is a major celebrity um, trick that they use um, you know if they're having to do some sort of an endorsement deal with you know Revlon I don't know with whoever um, they actually will do this Gigi Hadid has done this in pictorials so many other you know even Jennifer Lopez like you'll see her with huge extensions but then you'll also see her with really really short bobby hair uh, Jessica Alba it looks really good on her too doesn't it lots of volume I know 
It looks fabulous. We're just going to do the and last little bit here. And typically she has really, really straight hair. Yes. And is it mm -hmm. fine hair or does she have a lot of hair? She has a de medium. I would say medium in both levels. She doesn't have an, a crazy amount of hair, but she's definitely not fine in, you know, her... Thank you. So while we're talking about this, <clears throat> you also have a giveaway as well. Yes. So tell us about the products. So we have Up North Naturals, the curl system, and the jelly. And then we also have an iron that we're giving away through Key Rocher. So and Up North and Key Rocher. So for our viewers at home, for a chance to win, send, just send an email to daytimedurham at rogers.rci.com. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is that the right <laughs> one? daytimedurham.rci.rogers.com. Yes. And oh my and gosh, that's beautiful. So well, let's show them what it looks like at the back. And up next we have mixed media artist Cindy Higgins. Stay with us.